Forget sorting your plastics from your food scraps at home. This is a recycling plant that accepts everything and does it all for you. The BR plant in Sharjah has been operational for three months and is now big enough to handle a million tons of waste every year. It was set up by a Canadian-Palestinian businessman who was sick of visiting his mother and seeing her non-existent recycling options. And I was watching a cans and bottles and paper products go into the waste while we were preparing dinner and I thought there must be some other uh, uh, mechanism for recycling as opposed to just throwing everything in the garbage. Samra Kamal found a friendly ear in the ruler of Sharjah who agreed to go halves in this $40 million recycling plant that is said to be the largest in the Middle East. Hundreds of workers are each paid around $700 per month to sort all the different kinds of plastic bottles by hand, along with cans, cardboard and plastic shopping bags that are then bundled up and sold on for reuse. Each person in the United Arab Emirates generates more than 700 kilograms of household waste per year, more than double the amount of many European countries. We're passing through the greatest hurdle, which was to build the basic infrastructure necessary to support all these people through their recycling initiatives. Now that we've got that basic infrastructure, as you can see, this facility is one piece of that infrastructure. Now we're able to uh, service a greater and greater percentage of the community who are already demanding the service. Landfill dumps have been the traditional way for Gulf nations to deal with rubbish. This one in Sharjah holds an estimated 8 million tires that are also now destined for a second life. The BR plant shreds them before they're cryogenically frozen and then smashed into tiny pieces, allowing the steel and fibres to be separated from the rubber, which can be reused in a variety of products. This is what all those old tyres become, rubber tiles for use in children's playgrounds and gymnasiums. But eventually, this finely ground rubber will be mixed with asphalt, creating highways that are both quieter and last longer than traditional roads. It can reprocess around 3 million tyres each year, but with the UAE's stockpiles growing at around the same rate, many more recycling plants are needed. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera, Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates.